Yeah, go ahead and kick it. All right, we just moved our shelf up, and this rug has been laying down there for a couple years. We got all this material right here. That we're gonna try to gather up and see what kind of uh, what kind of precious metals we can get out of it. I'm just gonna sweep it into this little pan here. And, uh, now, what I'll do, put it in the bag. Cut. Okay, we'll right. put the bag on here, tear the scale with the bag. And now we're going to weigh our material. Looks like we've got 200 grams even. Welcome back everybody, Street Tips here. And today what we're going to do is I've got some low grade floor sweeps from the jewelers office that we swept up off of his mat that we uh, have down on the floor there where we serve as customers. Uh, this is low grade material. In other words, there shouldn't be all that much precious metals in here. But what we're going to do now is separate it all out and see what kind of yield we can get. Let's get right to it. Here's a look at the low grade sweeps from the jeweler's office. This is off the floor, off of a mat that's in front of his customer service desk. But I wanted to contrast this, this low grade stuff, with some high grade stuff that I've got from him. And this is uh, out of his work drawer where he keeps his tools. Uh, what he does is he opens the drawer and he works on rings and bracelets, necklaces, all gold and silver, some platinum. He files, he sands, and he uh, cuts, and all of the uh, tiny bits of metal from those operations fall down into his drawer, and then we sweep them up, and that's what this is. This will be in a later video. All right, let's begin this by uh, what I'm going to do is just dump this material into a coining word dish here. I'm going to take a look at this material. Uh, he does watch batteries at his shop. So there's going to be some watch batteries in here. All right, I'm digging through here. Like here's some foil that's not going to burn. This battery package is probably not going to burn. And I'm just going to sort through this by hand to see what it is that we truly have here. Uh, they contain silver. But the main reason I want them out of here is because they will pop like popcorn when we put the when we put them in the oven. To burn everything and blow the material out of the uh, the dish so I want to go through here and try to get all of the batteries out before we go to the next step which is incineration all right I've been through this about four or five times all the way around and we've got these batteries out of here so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer the material to an unglazed melt dish. And we're going to take it out and put it in the oven and burn this to burn off all the combustible material that's in this group.
I heard a pop, came out my shop there, and obviously overlooked one of the batteries in the material, left it in there. It exploded from the heat and ejected some of the material out of the melt dish. You can see there in the, uh, in the bottom of the oven there, some of the material has been ejected out of the dish from that battery exploding. At this point, the material has been in the oven for about one half hour. It's up over 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Everything is glowing. So it's safe to conclude that all the combustible material has been burnt out of the material. And you'll see here in a minute, you'll see a little bit of smoke coming off my gloves here as I, uh, Right there, that's my gloves burning from the heat of the oven, not the material. I left it in the oven another 15 minutes. You can see here it's all glowing. I'm going to pull it out and we're going to examine it. And it looks real good. Everything is a fine dry ash. material incinerated nicely here. Now what I'm going to do is I've got a magnet in a uh, plastic bag. As you can see we got tons of magnetic material in here. What we'll do now is put it up here in our uh, fine mesh strainer and get the powder off because it might have precious metals in it. And then what I want to do is save this material because there are some gold catches in here possibly that contain magnetic springs in them so we want to go through this and make sure that we get any of that gold material out of here before we toss this all right let's go back in here and see if we got some more magnetic stuff that we can pull out plenty as you can see and then all the stuff should drop off when i pull the bag away We'll just grind this up. All right, most of this is probably just going to be dirt, but we want to uh, to uh, get all this finely powdered material sifted out of the magnetic material. That's what's left. Pretty much got all of the uh, magnetic material pulled out of there now. So what we'll do is start uh, grinding the rest of the stuff here into a finely divided powder. We strain out the big chunks of scrap material and we gather the powdered material down in our beaker. Look in here, see if we got any pieces of solid gold, such as those pieces. That's a piece of silver wire right there. So we want to save this and go back through it. Plus there's some stones down in there, I'm noticing.
everything ground up and uh, all the material is a fine powder in here now. In here, now what I'm going to have to do is put this in a larger pan and then we'll uh, sort through this by hand with a pair of tweezers because there's going to be some pieces of gold in here that wouldn't fit through the strainer like that right there. And there's probably some other pieces of uh, gold and silver that we're going to go through now and hand pick them out. That's the only way I can think of to get that uh, material out of here. I'm going to pour this uh, out into a larger container here and we're going to kind of sift through this now. And I'm just going to pull the pieces that look like they might be precious metals over here and uh, see if I can get a group of that going on over here off to the side. There's a piece of uh, gold right there. There's my ring. Steady sized. Some of this stuff, most of it's going to just be junk. But I want to go through here and just pick through it like this and get all the gold material separated from the junk. Just going through and getting all the magnetic material pulled off to the side over here again. That'll get a lot of the clutter out of the way here so I can uh, dig through this stuff and see if I can get some precious metals out of it. I'm just sorting through the material here by hand. If I come across something that looks like it's precious metals, putting it over in this pile. If I come across something that looks like it's a piece of steel, I put it in this pile over here. And I'm just going to sort through this whole pile. Uh, I've got a pile of stones here. Here's a little diamond. And I'm putting that in this pile. I'm just going to go through and get all of this material sorted by hand. Got everything classified now. This is all going to be junk right here. So we're going to get this out of here. For right now. This little pile right here is some gemstones and I'll uh, see if I can get these in a bag here and give these back to the jeweler all right all this material right here I think is uh, gonna be pieces of gold Silver, try to get these into a melt dish, and we'll melt this material into a little button and then use some silver if we need to to encourt this material. This is where we're at right now. I've got a bunch of waste pieces, scrap steel in here. Here is our finely divided powder. That we're going to hit with nitric this is little pieces of carrot gold and maybe some silver in here I'm going to melt this up into a button but for right now what we're going to do is we're going to sweep the rest of this material back into this grinding dish here we're going to give this another grind and see if we can extract some more of this uh, black powder Let's see if we can grind some more of this stuff up and get just a little bit more of the uh, finely divided powdered stuff into our beaker. Right, let's get this into the uh, strainer here. Strain this out. to the shop we go get this little bit of carrot stuff melted up into a little button
right, I think we got us a little button here now. Could be highly impure metal. It's okay. Put a little borax on it. Staying molten a long time. It's borax I'm putting on there. Waiting for it to uh, freeze up so we can get it out of that borax and not have it become glued into the dish. There it goes. I think it's solid now. See what we got here. Nah, it's still molten. See how it's moving around like that? There we go. That's our button. Let's throw him down in the uh, water now. All right, here's our little button of metal. Looks like it's mostly silver. First thing we're going to do, take our button, put it in a uh, small beaker here, cover it with some distilled water, and now I'm going to add some nitric acid, and we'll put this up on the heat. Next, we're going to take our uh, material that didn't go through the strainer, add that to this beaker because there's going to be pieces of uh, gold in here. So I'm going to try to extract anything that I can with nitric acid. So we hit this with some nitric and put it up on the heat as well. Okay, lastly, I'm going to take our finely divided material here, add some distilled water, and then an equal amount of nitric acid, and we're going to put this up on its own separate burner here. And start extracting any silver out of this material. I don't expect a big yield from this low grade material. The jeweler said, what are you doing adding to your workload like this? But I said, ah, oh, I seen him sweeping it up. So I said, just go ahead and give it to me. Let me process it. Okay, we can't uh, conclude any video without getting a look at the uh, silver cell here. I just uh, changed out the filter basket the other day. And uh, it's revved it up pretty good here. The uh, silver's starting to deposit nicely on the inside there. All right, I'm going to go ahead and load up the uh, anode filter with some uh, impure silver shot here. I've got a uh, I've got a fabricator making me a pair of tongs for my three kilogram crucible, and that should be done in the next few days. 
And when we get that in, what we'll do is melt up a big batch of this impure shot uh, with my new furnace. These three solutions have been on boiling now for about three hours and I've been adding water and nitric acid. So what we're going to do is take these down and let them cool down. And these are going to take some uh, wrangling and some finessing. Uh, I'm in uncharted territory again as usual. And so we're going to have to uh, figure out how to proceed with these. But for now, what we're going to do is take them down and let them cool off. And what we'll do is just let these uh, cool down. I, uh, I'm going to have to figure out how to proceed here. We'll rehydrate these and then we'll come back to this in part two. This will conclude part one of the jeweler's waste low grade floor sweeps. Thanks for watching.